Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing my process of how I make scripts for Tribal Wars. Um, in this example I'm going to do a um, simple script that goes through these incomings and finds anything that looks like nobles, anything that has exactly 100 millisecond spacing um, between the attacks. Um, I want to find those and I want to highlight them in some way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start just trying to get the information that I'm interested in. So in order for me to do that functionality, I need to get all of the incomings, and for each incoming, I need to get the arrival time. So I'm going to inspect this element. It's, I'm sort of, sort of reverse engineering, kind of not really, um, uh, but how this website is laid out and how the data is available, or provided, rather. Um, this goes down, so let's see. Um, so I'm going to be messing around in the JavaScript console down here and just seeing what sort of selectors I need to get these elements. So I'll start off top down, so this incomings table is easily identifiable. So I'm going to start there, select this. So we get this element. All right, now let's be a bit more specific. Let's do table rows. All right. All right, now we get the incoming rows, um, but we also get this extra row here that I don't really care about. So let's make that a bit more specific. So that's gonna be table rows, and let's see. This is distinguished from these ones and how the incomings have this no wrap class on them. Um, and I believe there is one at the end, right? So, in order to get the actual incoming rows, it's going to be all table rows that have no wrap on them. Select that, take a look through. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Um, so, now make it more specific again so we have the table rows and we want this specific table data within this row so inspect this this is one two three four five six the sixth one td nth of type six check it out see what we got okay sweet so i got what i wanted um and since so, so from here I'm going to start getting this data out and figuring out how I want to color this. Um, for simplicity, since we're already getting, whoops, we're already getting these elements, um, I'm just going to make these colored differently. Um, if there's a noble, or if there's a noble detected. Okay. So what we're going to do? I'm going to go for each row. And let's, how do I want to do this? All right, we'll just make sure that we're getting the right stuff, that things are as we expect. All right, so on, that's 17. Oh, right, because that's further down, right? Okay, so that's correct. But there's a bunch of space around it, so I'm going to trim that. Um, now I want to get this specific time here. Um, and I'm going to do some regex for that. I'm not going to explain this. If you know reg regex, regular expressions, then great. If not, you should probably learn them. They're really useful here. Um, so let's see, I'm going to match some number of digits with the colon, digits, colon, digits, colon, and so on. Um, okay, so let's lock that out, let's see what we get. Uh, whoops. Okay. So, we'll do this again, but this time we'll do that zero. Okay, so now we're getting the times for each incoming row. Um, now, so 
I have this data, but I need to be able to compare each incoming to the next and or previous ones. Um, and to do that, I actually have to store these values. So what I'm going to do uh, make an array that we're going to store these in. And what I'll do is do incomings push push an object because we want to store the elements so we can color it later and the time. I'm just going to paste this. That looks right. Um, unexpected token. Oh, right. Okay, so then if we look at incomings again, we've got all these objects. Let's take a look. Okay. Um, the only thing is, those are strings, and I want them to be numbers, so I'm going to. Reset this, and I'm going to do parse int on this. Missing. What are you talking about? Oh, whoops. Alright, let's see this again. Oh, doy. Because they're not direct numbers. All right. So instead of parse ins, what we'll do is um, actually, I don't need to know the whole time. I only need to know the milliseconds. So we're going to get the time, then we're going to split it with a semicolon, and it's going to be the third element. Uh, oops! Did I forget to clear this? I did. Actually, I'm just going to start putting this up again here. And okay, so we've got all of these. Now let me just. I know JavaScript likes to do funky math stuff with strings, so let's see. Okay, so I don't need to do parsons. Technically, I should, but this is a little script, don't really care. Okay, so from here, then we'll do um, comings at for each index. Um, now, milliseconds minus. Up. Let me check. Oops, I'm coming. Um, so if let's say difference between this incoming and, and incomings, the previous one equals 100 or doing anything with it yet, but I just want to make sure that that's not going to give me any errors. Okay, so this will tell us if there is another incoming before or after this one that is spaced exactly 100 milliseconds apart. So if that's the case, then we are going to take the elements represented by that. We're going to set its color to red. Otherwise, we're not going to do anything. Okay, now I know there's a train somewhere here, so let's go through and see if that actually did it. It did not. Okay. Um, all right.
right, so instead of, well, it might be just be that the style isn't being applied for some reason. So let's just log the incoming if it finds it. It's not finding any. These are the nobles, and this is... I'm not going to count as to which specific one this is. Uh, let's see. If... Honestly, I have no clue what the issue could be right now, so I'm just kind of trying random stuff. I'm going to throw all this in a parenthesis, just in case that's not being treated as one whole thing, but it looks like it is. Dingus. I need to subtract from the milliseconds here. Milliseconds. Can we that undefined? All right. So that's not gonna. That's not gonna work if we're at the beginning or the end of the array. So what we're gonna do uh, if. Right is not equal to zero, and that. And then we're going to do i is not equal to that length minus one, and this. Right? Expected token. There we go. Okay, so now we're getting those. So just to let's just inspect to make sure that we're getting the right ones. Uh, so that should be this. Why is that normal? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It might have been right. So it looks like um, the incomings changed at some point. Maybe we got more incomings or something landed in it. Reset all the elements. So I have to rerun this and then run this again quickly. There we go. OK. So we've got our elements, and what I'll do next is, instead of logging this, I will set uh, dot element dot CSS, set the text color to red. There we go. Then I could change it around. I'd probably want to set the background color instead so it's more noticeable. Uh, Hmm, I didn't even notice this one before. Uh, and then after all of this, I'll combine it all into a one-liner. That. Then I'll refresh the page and run it again, just so we can make sure it's not using like leftovers from the last time it ran. Okay. And it works. And then, you know, copy and paste that into your quick par and put JavaScript at the beginning of it, because otherwise it'll think it's a link rather than JavaScript code. And um, that's basically it.